Hello everyone. In this short video, I want to answer to this question of can I hide my code from the user? So let's say, for example, here you have written a simple code that will uh, basically calculate the range and the flight time of a projectile if there is no air drag and if you shoot it from uh, basically a zero elevation. So here you give it an initial velocity or launch velocity and a launch angle. And you ask this function that you wrote called projectile calculator with these two inputs to give you the two outputs and then you show it, right? And this is that function that I wrote. So it has a specific G value, which is for the earth, of course, and then these two formulas, right? Now, can I hide this work from somebody if I really want to uh, basically uh, not show it to the people? Still, I want them to be able to use my function, but I don't want to show them the details. So they cannot just click on my M file and open it. And one answer is uh, you can convert it to an executable, right? Using uh, basically converting it to standalones that I have a video on that. If you want, you can watch it under the playlist MATLAB, how to convert your code into a, a standalone code and uh, like executables. But there is another way, and that is converting it to a .p file. And p file is basically, if you look at MATLAB, there is this command called p code. And p code, what it does, it converts your M file into a format that uh, cannot be opened and they are obscured basically still executable but obscured so uh, all you need is to say p code and followed by the name of the m file and as i said it will create a replicate of your file so this is my m file in the same folder right now you see uh, it's not even in this folder but um, right now this is my downloads i uh, created so let me bring it back so I go here and I bring it back from desktop right so here it is I add it here and let me get rid of this uh, other p file that I have so it's this guy here I try to open it with text editor that's why it has this symbol of text editor but it doesn't look like that so I just want to uh, show you how to create it first and then i'll show you the advantage of it so here right i have this demo file and i have this function and now i want to hide this function and so all i do is say p code and then the name of the function which is projectile calculator right so um look what happens when i do that you see, it goes ahead and creates a P file copy of that here. And the P files, they look different, right? The shape of the P file is actually like this. That's how they look like here. Because I tried to open it with text editor, it looks like that. But uh, if you uh, try to open this file and you try a text editor, you see it's kind of like encoded. So you cannot understand anything from this. And then you might say, well, open it in MATLAB. And the thing is, you cannot open it in MATLAB. Look, if you double click on here, right, you cannot open it. And showing detail or anything, it's not going to show you any detail. So if I now just go ahead and get rid of this projectile calculator.m or move it to another folder, right, just get rid of it here, I deleted it. Is this going to still work? Yes. Look, perfect. You see, it's working because this P file is there and it gives you everything that you need. But guess what? I cannot, you see here, I double click, I cannot open it. And if I try to open it with a text editor or anything, it just encoded. So this is one good way to hide your uh, code, your source code from somebody while still giving it to them to be able to use it. It's called making it a P file. Hopefully it was useful to you and I'll see you in the next video.